You know, summer's the best time to ride. But in Texas and in the South, it can get really, really hot. There's a lot of different ways that riders stay cool in the summer, or at least try to stay cool. You know, you can soak your t-shirt in water uh, when you stop to get gas. Uh, there's special cooling vests uh, that are designed to hold more moisture for a longer period of time uh, so that, you know, the evaporative cooling will keep you cool. But the problem with those, uh, there's several problems, they don't work that well and they dry out pretty quick and they only work in really dry climates. If you're in a real humid environment where it's 40, 50% humidity or more, evaporative cooling just doesn't work. I recently came across a product from Vescamo. It's a cooling vest and basically consists of a, a vest with plastic tubing and there is a reservoir that holds ice and has a submersible pump and it basically pumps ice cold water through these tubes and keeps your, your core very cool. The Vescamo system is a two-part system. There's, there's basically a, a cooling reservoir that holds uh, ice cold water, and then you have a vest uh, that connects to it. And on my Honda Goldwing, I basically can just set this uh, reservoir on the back seat and connect it to the power supply. You know, the Vescamo system will work off of a battery pack, an optional lithium ion battery pack, and it gives you up to six hours of power. Now I've chosen to install the DC uh, power right to the 12 volt system and I basically have my little plug coming out here next to the uh, passenger speaker and I just plug it in and it's ready to go. The next step is connecting this vest. Uh, there's a, a hose that comes out of the vest and it connects to the ice water reservoir and you basically do that with a kind of a double connector system. It's really pretty, pretty cool, pretty easy. You just snap it together and it connects like that. And then the hose just hangs off to the side as you ride. Now I suppose it would also be possible to figure out a way to mount this reservoir to a luggage rack as I'm trying to do here. Uh, it does seem a little bit big for a luggage rack, uh, but of course that's gonna depend on your bike and your luggage rack. A lot of bikes wouldn't have a problem with that. And then of course you just run your, your hose and your cables up to the, to the vest as shown here. Uh, also, if you pull a trailer behind your motorcycle, uh, you could very possibly attach this to uh, you know, the ice chest on the trailer, or if you have a packet rack uh, coming off your trailer hitch, you could very easily uh, mount the reservoir on that as well. For best results, the Vescamo vest should be as tight as possible so that these tubes carrying the ice cold water can be in close contact with your skin. You'll get a better cooling effect. Now, I'm wearing this over a t-shirt in this picture, but you can wear the vest directly in contact with the skin and you will get more cooling if you do that. Vescamo also recommends that you wear this underneath a jacket or another vest, something that would prevent the warm ambient air on the outside from warming up this ice water and which in turn causes the ice in the reservoir to melt even quicker. So getting the vest to fit properly is pretty easy. There's six adjustable elastic straps uh, on the side and you can very easily adjust this to get a good tight fit. Once you have the vest on, now it's just a matter of connecting the power supply to the power switch on the reservoir, filling the reservoir with ice, add 16 ounces of water, seal up the system, get it good and tight and close it up, connect your vest to the hose, and then turn the power on. Yeah. Starts out in the back, comes up over the shoulders, then comes down the front. Really cold. Feels good. Press these two buttons to disconnect the hose when you stop for gas. And to empty the reservoir, you can use the pump like I'm doing here to just empty it out onto the ground. The 9-quart reservoir can hold up to 8 16-ounce bottles of frozen drinking water. Now the advantage to this is this lasts a lot longer than ice cubes, won't melt as fast. What you want to make sure you do is empty out about three ounces of water out of each bottle because you want to give it room to expand when it freezes. You don't want the bottle to warp or get distorted. 
Then make sure you remove all the labels from the bottle and any adhesive. You don't want that stuff coming loose and getting into the pump. Next, you simply stack these into your reservoir and you're ready to go. Best part is, when the water melts, you can drink it. The adjustable cooling controller is one of the coolest optional features. And what this does is it connects in between your power source and your on-off switch. And it basically replaces the on-off switch. But it lets you control or regulate the amount of cooling. Basically, it turns the water pump on every one minute, three minutes, or seven minutes or it lets it run continually. And you can mount this uh, flush mount it to a dash, or you can just simply Velcro it like I did here to my uh, passenger grab rail. In addition to the nine quart system that I tested, Vescomo also makes a 4.4 quart portable backpack hydration system. And this is really great for those of you that ride off-road bikes or even sport bikes. I had a chance to test the Vescomo personal cooling system on a 700 mile trip from Dallas Fort Worth to West Texas and back and it got up to about 100 degrees during that test. Uh, there's no doubt this system works, it works as advertised and it really does cool off your core. That ice water going through the vest just makes a huge difference. Uh, no question that I could ride an extra 200 miles a day at least uh, if I have that vest on me in the summertime. So, uh, the system works. Uh, I think it's a great investment for anybody that rides in high heat temperatures.